I think for me, um, the dream and the text of this piece and the title of the show uh, is very connected to poetry. And poetry is something that we understand as words and the words that create visions. I think Pier Paolo's work for me is poetry in a physical sense, and I have an experience in front of his works that um, can be sort of a melting experience in the same way that, that I think the images that poetry creates give to me. So it's a very unusual kind of art because um, it's formal, but it creates an incredible amount of emotion through visual experience. I think for our part of the exhibition, what comes to mind for me is motion and water and fire. So the elements of existence that are at the base of all of our existence. And these things are never fixed. They're always changing, evolving, moving. And to have an art form that can you know, sit on your wall or freestand as a sculpture, but is continually changing and evolving is a reflection on our own lives. So maybe that is the poetry in the work as well, but when I think about this room, I think about the most core elemental aspects of our existence coming to fruition in artworks. Well, for me, um, the works in this particular part of the exhibition um, are so appropriate for the space. We have the beautiful natural light, which um, is certainly emphasizing their uh, deep colors and contrasts of white gray, cream, and I think that the work directly behind me um, of salt and the freezing element uh, dividing the piece in two is very, very effective and very, very powerful. Um, the black salt is almost like a velour when you are standing in front of it, um, and considering Pier Paolo's uh, preoccupation with the color of white and also with the, the frost that he uses in many of the pieces, I think that this is particularly successful in showing um, this beautiful diamond and uh, reflective white against the contrasting black. I think that the performance um, yesterday evening at the Vernissage um, also is a, a very, very good example of what uh, Pier Paolo's work evokes and asks of us, um, which is something pensive and I certainly think something meditative. The piece, um, which is titled Donna Colonna, um, involves a, a figure of a woman um, slowly moving um, uh, atop a very, very long garment. And at the end, she, she is removed from the installation and you have the absence of the figure, um, only suggested by the form of the skirt. So we look at the piece and we think, what has come before, what will come after, very much in keeping with the theme of the exhibition, um, when the dreamer dies, what happens to the dream. La sostanza del sogno è quella voce che ti, ti insegue anche a livello diurno, è, è quella compagnia singolare che ti mormora nelle orecchie, è molto vicino alla poesia che quando meno pensi e sei su la metro senti uno scampanellio, la poesia ti raggiunge, ti raggiunge, ti colpisce. Il sogno è così, più, fisi, più fisico, più organico, ha più ampiezza. Poi qualcosa che vive con te naturalmente e che non conosce a volte, spesso. Io per esempio non mi ricordo mai di sogno, se, sento che ci sono. Il problema che, che mi pongo in effetti è, è, è il problema al quale non ho avuto mai risposta, cioè che ne sarà del sogno è una richiesta eh, pubblica, è una, è una forma di richiesta che getto a me e agli altri, è una curiosità profonda. Questo ectoplasma, questo eh, fisicissimo ectoplasma è portato dal sognatore o continua di per sé?